This tutorial is about Haiku Deck. Haiku Deck is yet another online tool that allows you to create presentations. It's an alternative to PowerPoint. And I've said before, I'm a longtime fan of PowerPoint. I still use it and like it a lot. But it is nice to have some alternatives now and then so that you don't feel like you're overusing a tool. And sometimes I just want a little different look and feel for my presentation. Haiku Deck is a great choice for that kind of change up type presentation. So let's take a look at it and how you can use it to create some engaging presentations. So this is what it looks like once you've signed in to Haiku Deck. And you'll see that it recognizes me because I've used this in the past and I've created some presentations. Those are here toward the middle of the screen. If this is your first time using Haiku Deck, of course you won't see those. Up here in the upper part of the screen, you'll see New Deck. And you click that to create a new Haiku Deck. Now while this is loading, let me just mention something about the name. I'd imagine the reason they call this Haiku Deck is because Haiku Deck encourages you to create pretty simple presentations. Presentations that are visually appealing and interesting but very simple. And that of course is, is somewhat similar to haiku poetry where haiku poems are very short and are deceptively simple. They, they seem to be simple and yet there's more going on there than is immediately apparent. Um, with Haiku Deck you create what looks like a very simple presentation but then you as the presenter will be filling in some of the meaning in between the slides. And so the idea here is that we don't need to overload our slides with text and pictures and just put too much in, as is often the case with PowerPoint. A lot of times people load those, those slides up with text and pictures and animations and things. Haiku Deck encourages you to be more simple and plain and straightforward with your presentations. Okay, having said that, let's jump in and create a new presentation. Here in the upper left area, I can just click where it says Untitled Haiku Deck, and I can just put in a title for this presentation. Okay, so now that I've put in the title, I'm ready to begin. And next up, notice that I am encouraged to pick a slide type. There's six different slide types to choose from, and it very much does change the way your slide looks. Uh, this is a good one for your title slide, and that's what I'll use. But notice that there are some other options as well that you'll need in the future parts of your presentation. So I'll just go there, and I'll click to edit. If you want to, you can click to add a subtitle. And then next, if you want to, you can click to create a background or set a background for your slide. Now you'll notice when I clicked on background, it remembered the word world from my title and you know from my first slide and it put it in there and it gave me automatically some images that I could select from that might be good. If I want I can just click on one of those, put it in, looks great, I'm ready to go. So uh, that's actually a perfectly good one. I, I probably will just keep that but there are other options. Of course I could go in and I could change the search terms and I could get different images that I might want to use instead. And this is just searching Haiku Deck's collection of pictures that you can just pull in and use automatically. Now, of course, you can also just click here on My Pictures, and it'll take you to this screen here where you can connect up to your Evernote account or Picasa, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want to connect to. You could pull in pictures from those places to use in Haiku Deck. You can also just drag an image from your computer into this box or browse your computer by clicking here on Choose File and pull in a picture from your computer. Now depending on the picture that you end up using, you might wish that you had, instead of white lettering, you might wish you had dark lettering or vice versa. And so you can just click here to switch between the two options. I kind of like white in this case, so I'm going to stick with that. And I'm done with my first slide. To add a second slide, I just go down to the lower right corner, click Add Slide, and it gives me a blank slide to work with. Now on this second slide, I want to point out that there are some other options for backgrounds. You don't have to use a photo. You don't have to use a picture. Um, up here toward the top, there are two other options. You can click here on the second button and select a chart type. Then you can edit that chart. And so the background could be a chart. The other option is to just click this third button and put in a solid color. Okay, so I've got my background, and I notice that I have probably the wrong slide type selected here. This looks like it wants another title slide. So notice that here at the left side of the screen in Haiku Deck, there's four buttons, and you'll be switching between these quite a bit as you are changing and working on your presentations. 
this first button is where you select the slide type and so I would switch this instead of being the title slide type I would choose either bullets or numbers just larger text and then there's some with pictures and text and so forth so I'm just gonna go with this one with the bullets we've already looked at the second button and the options that you have there let's look at the third button this is where you can choose a layout and the options here vary depending on what you picked in the first button so for example let's say I just have um, this title slide type selected if I go into the choose layout options you can see there's lots of different layouts to choose from if I jump back and change to this fourth option here I jump to layouts and there's again there's lots of options to choose from so it just depends on what you pick here in slide type that determines the options that you have available here in choose a layout and you can see in this case they're pretty similar to each other not a huge difference between those two so now I would just click to edit click to add the first line okay now let's say I would like to add some images to this slide what I would do is I would click here on images and I would go in and do my search and compared to PowerPoint, you're not going to spend time in Haiku Deck creating small pictures. It's basically you're going to have a picture that covers the whole screen or you're not going to use pictures. And so it kind of simplifies things. And I think in a lot of ways, your end result is a lot more beautiful. My Haiku Decks that I've used and presented with in the past, they've looked really nice. And uh, even though they're simple, it works really well. And I feel like I am able to fill in the gaps with my own uh, words that I speak. In a lot of ways, that makes for a better presentation. Fewer words on the screen and more words presented by the live presenter. Okay, so of course I would just continue this process, adding slides, choosing a slide type, choosing background images and layouts. Notice that you can also add notes. These are presenter notes, so that if someone else is gonna be presenting your presentation, you can put in some information here for them. Okay, just a few final things about Haiku Deck. Notice that it constantly saves automatically and sometimes there is a little bit of a lag time a little bit of a delay between when you make a change on a slide and then you click off that slide it might take a little while for that change to be updated but it does happen and then really the last thing you need to know is when you are finished with your presentation creating the, the presentation you have some buttons here in the upper right corner that you can use to actually present your presentation when it's time to do so you just click on the play button in the upper right and it starts up. You can also use the arrow keys to advance the slides, just forward and back arrows, or spacebar to go forward. And there's also a kiosk mode, basically, is what I think it's called, where you can click the play button here in the lower left corner and it will play each slide in turn. It'll automatically advance the slides after a few seconds. And notice you can go full screen in the upper right okay so that's the play button of course the question mark is the help button and then you've got two ways to kind of get your presentation out of haiku deck and share it with the rest of the world you can export it and you'll notice that you would be encouraged to add a description to what this is choose a category and then you can export your presentation as a PDF file or as a PowerPoint presentation so that people that have PowerPoint only they can access it and use it I'm gonna X out of this there is also a share button and the share button allows you to send this to people without having to export first and you'll notice that there's an option to allow people to reuse and and edit your presentation basically if you don't want that to happen you uncheck that along those same lines there's also a privacy button here it looks like a, a lock a padlock if you click that you can see that it's right now it's a public presentation that may appear in the search results if you want you can restrict it so only people with a link can access it or you can make it private for the purposes of this presentation I'm gonna make it private again we make sure we've picked a category I'm encouraged to do a description now look it's not allowing me to share it why because it's a private haiku deck okay so I, I need to change that if I make it restricted or public then I'm allowed to share it. So now with the click of a button, I could share it to Facebook, Twitter. I could share it through email, through a link, HTML embed code, Pinterest, all these different options for sharing this presentation with others. And as soon as you click the symbol, it takes you to the place where you can make that share happen. 
All right, so I hope that this helps you get started with Haiku Deck. It's a pretty simple tool, and I love the end result. Uh, very visually appealing, and yet simple, straightforward presentation where the presenter does most of the work. Uh, the slides are just there to jog your memory, to look good, to share a little bit of information. I didn't talk about this earlier, but it's very difficult to put a lot of text in to a haiku deck. It's really, it kind of restricts you a little bit in the amount of text that you can put there. And that's a good thing because a presentation is better if it doesn't have tons of text on the slides. So I really like the end result. Haiku deck is one of four presentation tools that I use most often, and they are PowerPoint, Prezi, Haiku Deck, and Emaze. I do use Google Slides as well uh, sometimes, and, and even more tools be beyond those, but those are my four that I use most often. So thanks for watching, and I hope that you will like the video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more video tutorials about technology for teachers and students.